Google has updated its predictive back animation feature with the launch of Android 14, but as of right now, it still needs to be enabled via the Developer Options menu. Android's predictive back animation was a feature that we first saw last year with the launch of Android 13. The goal is to help prevent people from being surprised about what the back navigation gesture does. We've seen this issue discussed among the Android community for years, where some apps will take you to the previous page you were viewing. For example, a social media application could take you from a post you tapped back to the main feed page while other apps have it so that the back navigation gesture will completely close out the app. There are other surprises with the back button on Android, and that is what Google is trying to solve with the predictive back animation feature. We can enable this by first enabling the developer mode feature on your device. The steps involved in revealing the hidden developer options menu will be different depending on which OEM makes your phone, so I'll link to a few methods down in the video description below. We can then dive into this newly revealed developer options menu from the settings application and then scroll down until you find the predictive back animation toggle. However, you should also be able to do a search from the top of the settings app for predictive back animations, which will take you directly to the toggle. Once enabled, we're gonna get this little pop-up here talking about how third-party apps will need to add code to support this feature. So if your favorite app doesn't offer this support yet, then you will want to contact them to send in a request for it. Once enabled, supported apps will then give you a preview of the page you will swipe back to when you swipe and hold from the edge of the screen. So you can see we are in the developer options page right here. And if we were to swipe and hold, again, we get a preview of the screen that we will be sent back to if we were to swipe back. Now it doesn't matter which side of the screen you swipe from. We just need to swipe and hold our finger or thumb on the display after performing that back gesture on Android. You can see with the settings app when we activate this new predictive animation, we get the preview of the screen we will go back to. We can cancel this out by swiping back to the edge of the screen. If we don't like where we're going to be taken to, we can just swipe our finger back to the edge and we're going to stay at the screen where we're at to begin with. It's not until we let go on the screen that you can see the back gesture is actually taken. I do like this new feature that Google has been working on as it can solve a lot of confusion when navigating through apps. But I don't understand why Google is making this optional for developers right now. I feel we do need more continuity throughout the Android operating system, and that includes third-party applications as well. So having this feature work with some apps and not others 
seems like a poor choice in my opinion. But with this feature still being hidden in the developer options menu, maybe that is a sign that it will become mandatory when the feature is finalized and included as an option without having to enable developer mode first.